Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. This one's a no-brainer. It's got to be Lionel Messi. In my opinion, he's the best I've ever seen. Uh, no better side on a football pitch than when he's dribbling through the fences and, and finding the corner of the net. Uh, a little genius. Not well, to disagree with that. It is the sort of situation he thrives in. Now it's Luis Suarez. And it's Messi. Barcelona are very much in free-scoring form of late. Goals in each of their last five games. And he's there to cut it out. Rakitic. Pique. Roberto. Looks to thread it through. Roberto needed to come up with a better ball. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Zuniga. Spreads it wide. And he's cut it out. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Messi passes it through. Dumbele. And it's to get it away. Truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. Well, the ball flight may be unpredictable, but the predictable part was the technique. It screamed goal all the way. Barcelona have an early lead. Good start. Messi proving dependable as ever. Another terrific day at the office for him. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Oh, 
Hoists it high. Shade too heavy. Keeper could pick that up. Roberto does well there. Alert. It's Dembele. Luis Suarez. Dembele plays it into the channel. Zuniga gets into the right position to intercept. That's a look and plays it in. Messi tries a header! Decent enough try. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Jordi Alba. Zuniga. Plays it out to the wing. Where to from here? Tries a through ball. It's a fabulous position. And that's caused a worry or two. Sergio Busquets. And it's hoisted clear. Just half an hour in now. Out wide to the right. Played out to the wing. And the flag has stayed down. Shakes the shoots. Very well to get to that. Well, that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage. And that's been levered clear. Surely he'll have a dip! Great effort, beautifully taken. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. this but very little to show for it and it's Dennis Suarez and it's Dennis Suarez now the pass and that'll go straight through to the keeper more than happy to take the muscular approach Zuniga 
Jordi Alba. Messi. Long and high towards the flank. That intervention was very necessary. Looks like a good ball through. Zuniga looking to get on the end of this. Zuniga looking to get on the end of this. I have to say that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. PK, great challenge. Luis Suarez, Jordi Alba, Dennis Suarez, Luis Suarez, Luis Suarez, just misses past the post, Suarez probably tried a bit too hard then, he should have relied on technique as opposed to power. To the left it goes, looks to slip it through. Time to deliver. That will be a throw in. Over to the left, he's in space and looking for options. Tries a through ball. Zuniga. PK plays it forward. And there is the half time whistle. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. Here we go again then. So, 45 minutes to turn it round. It's a loose ball. And the weighted pass. Barcelona have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. Might meet it right. Listen, the manager seems to have impacted during the break. This is now a show of real purpose. Played out to the wing. He's got options out wide. Lovely feet. It's up to meet it! Oh, taken with style! Well, oh, listen, the writing was on the wall. It looked like this was going to happen, and it has. A great delivery and a finish to match. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. It's pulsating, it's absorbing, and it's hugely entertaining. Every single player is giving everything. Forward it goes. Messi. Roberto. Now it's Luis Suarez. 
Suarez really got caught in a trap there and he just couldn't get out. Deftly done. Messi. Luis Suarez. Messi. Sergio Busquets. Roberto. Busquets spreads it wide. He's got through and he's had a quick look inside. He's lifting it up greatly. Leveler can now open this second half to this game possibly being turned on its head. Fresh impetus and encouragement is all they need, and they've got it in abundance now. Now the pass goes for goal. Really well taken goal, and the game is well and truly turned on its head. are certainly a team that knows how to play their football as stylishly as you'll see. Tiki Taka at its very best and they back it up with goals. This team seems to find it easier to attack than defend, but now they're going to need to dig in at the back a bit. TT plays it forward. Looks to dink one in. Jordi Alba gets it back. Suarez has a go! And with the goal at his mercy, a dreadful miss. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. Now it's Messi, now it's Luis Suarez. Looks like a good ball through. Plays it back. Timely intervention. Well, it's good stuff, this is better. It's Luis Suarez! Well, he should have done better, and he knows it. Quite a thriller this one's become. Yeah, it's always a dangerous time when you've just scored. You can easily lose focus and then bang, you're pegged back again. Yeah. 
Now it's Luis Suarez. Suarez passes it through. Messi! Oh, he's brought him down, and it is a penalty. Yellow or red? It is red. A uh, look of amusement and dismay from the culprit, but the referee clearly thinks there was enough there for a penalty. Well, there may be some scope for debate over the seriousness of the offence, but none over its repercussions. They'll have to see out the rest of the game with ten men. The comeback is complete! Oh, dispatched with certainty. You could feel the tension as he stepped up to take that, but it didn't bother him, and he tucked it away perfectly. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Barcelona take the lead. And yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive Brazilians to equal that attacking player. Very well to intervene. Promising move that good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Sergio Busquets looks like a good ball through. Roberto swung in towards the middle. Intercepts it really alert to the danger. Aimed long and direct. And Titi goes looking. Dicks one in. Well weighted. It's the belly! Barcelona are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. Tries a through ball. Now here's the through ball. Jordi Alba is put in there. There's some activity down on the touchline. There's going to be a change. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Floats one over. Away from immediate danger. Barcelona look as though they're about to make a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the efforts he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Rakitic, massive leap! And that would have won it. Suarez really did let them off the hook. They could have wrapped it all up. It so nearly came off for him. Well, Peter, I think it's fairly obvious he's one of the biggest influences out there. Forward it goes. Looks to slip it through. A brilliant interception. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. Now the pass. The whole needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. It's going to 
be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Ross it here. Oh, Red, he sorted that out. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Looks like a good ball through. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Passes it through. Tries to stroke it through. With time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Suarez pushes it out wide. Has it out wide now. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. The final seconds now. Played out to the right. Plays it out to the flank. He's had a shot! They've done it! Tying minutes, and we're all square again. Well, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. And the manager called on it. He was only too happy to repay that play. That's how you make an impact as a sub. When the world most retiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. All square. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Terrific match. Universal commitment to attack. All square and rightly. No loser. Well, after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, a decent draw, Peter, with a good mix of action and plenty of talking points. And it ended with the right result, in my opinion. My thanks to Jim alongside me. And as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you.
So a warm welcome to you all, we will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Besiktas against Bruges. I'm Peter Drury and this is Jim Beglin. Well I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you Peter and, and thank you very much for that. Siktas have chosen to go 4-5-1. Yeah, this is a setup that offers easier flexibility whether you want to attack and or defend. Besiktas have the league's best defensive record. Gurkan Gurul. Aimed long and direct. And back to base. Keeper's got good distance on that. Looks to dig one in. Besiktas are unbeaten in their last five here. Pepe. Chania Erkin. Forward it goes. Ozjakov. With the ball through. Surely! Plays it out to the wing. Ozjakov. Looks to slip it through, passes it through. It's a brilliant interception. Charisma. Mattel. Osiako. Charisma. Oshikov. And it's the greater. Looks like a good ball through. Gokan Konu looking to get on the end of this. Karesma, Negredo. I think that's a corner. Yes, it is. Gets his head to it! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. The Siktas are pressing with energy in the opening moments of the game. Gokan Konu positions himself well and cuts it out. Mattel. 
Shania Erkin. Osjako. Mattel. Charisma looking for options. Gurkan Gurl. Chip through. Tries lifting it over. And through to the goalkeeper. Classy. Into the channel. Drives it in. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. Charisma tries to locate someone up front. Hossen goes long. Oshikop has brushed off the ball there. And it's Hossen. Tries a through ball. Back into the middle. Going through. Charisma. Long and high towards the flank. Oh, good interception. Classy. Played out to the right. Beautifully done. It's a loose ball. Played out to the wing. Now here's the through ball. Out for a throw. And he's cut it out. Charisma. Now it's Negredo. Goes wide. There really wasn't very much in that. Not far away from being a telling final ball. Uh, that was just poor decision making and a weak execution. Vossen plays it into the channel. Gurkhan Gurul tries to stroke it through. And he's there to cut it out. So it is still nil-nil. And it's Vossen. Flip it forward. Mattel goes looking. And he's on his way! Now it's Charisma. He's got away. Charisma! Goal! Bersitas! Besiktas take the lead! That's always a great sight, you know, on a football pitch. Nimble footage, show great balance and a really cool head to finish. And that kind of dribbling is really smart. Besiktas break the deadlock. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. So they got the only goal to make it 1 0. Chana Erkin lobs it in gently, cut out in the nick of time. Dinks one in, he's got options out wide. And it's Negredo. More than Besiktas have a free kick.
Osher Cup going for goal! Talk about asking for trouble, we all know he's more than capable of hitting the target from there. Besiktas can have a couple of goals without reply, it's 2-0. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. We sit high, cuts it out. Vossen, over to the left. Charisma. And it's Negredo. Played out to the wing. Charisma. Shakes the shoots. Away from immediate danger. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Timely intervention. Great strength. Too strong for his opponent. That'll be the last act of the first half. Reflections on the first half? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Besiktas sits in pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. And that's the start of another 45 minutes. No changes at the interval from either side. Split it wide. Shana Erkin battles to win it back. Osjokov. Pops it in gently. Shana Erkin to get on the end of this. Classy. Classy passes it through. Osjokov. Negredo. The Siktas disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Hit long and direct. He's making good use of his strength there. Just refuses to be outmuscled. Forward pass. Uh, the ball needed to be better there. It's a wasted chance. Vossen pushes it out wide. Now the gets up to head it! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Now that was a slick move, and there were several options in the box to, uh, to pick out. Try 
needs to get it forward quickly. Looks to thread it through. Has a swing at it! Gurkhan Gurul. Oshakup. Besiktas are two up. It's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Deftly done. Looks to play him in, but uh, a minor communications breakdown. Looks to slip it through. No, no way through there. Gurkhan Gurul. Negredo. Plays it out to the flank. to stroke it through, doesn't get the pass he's looking for, gets it upfield. A oh, glorious footwork, delivers the ball. Classy, goes looking, and now they can launch a counter, out wide to the right. Lovely feet. Forward it goes. Oh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. Balls out on the left now. And it's Erkin. The Grado who has made his impact already. Looks to clip it forward. Patel plays it forward. Oshakup. He's gone for it! Good try. The outcome could so easily have been different. Yeah, he may have snatched at that a bit, even though it was quite close. Oh, he really wanted that. Yeah, and you can feel and hear how the crowd are reacting to all of this. to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Besiktas just had to make the ball stick, but came up short. Bruges making another change here. <laughs> Aimed long and direct. Negredo. First substitutions will be coming up pretty soon. Pepe. Chanaya Erkin. Osjokov. Pepe. Chanaya Erkin. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Negredo spreads it towards the left. Gorgeous control there. Erkin floats one over. Oh, that's neat. That intervention was very necessary. Played out to the wing. Now here's the through ball. He's left his man. Fossum shoots! Oh, he has stuck it into his own net. Oh, it's terribly unfortunate for them, and maybe we can attribute that to a, to a loss of focus.
help from Lady Luck there. They all count. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's made sure that that won't get through. The Grado with a touch. Shoots! And that would have won it. He got too ahead of himself there, thinking how he could have made things safe. It so nearly came off for him. But that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Cook and Coral. Balls loose, who's getting there? And the weighted pass. Done very well to intervene. The Shiktas are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. And it's Charisma. The Grado. Gokan Konul plotting from out on the right hand side. He's had a go! That is wayward. Well, Peter, I would say it was worth a try. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. it into the channel, Vossen, he's onside, has a hit, oh, the keeper's done ever so well, well that was high class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high class wage, can get it clear well red he sorted that out Peter they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver Cook and Burrell. it is just a question of running down the clock now Mattel Lens. Long and high towards the flank. Gokan Konul looking to get on the end of this. Cross deflected behind for a corner. And out to safety. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Patel spreads it wide, cut out in the nick of time. The Shiktash can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. In towards the middle. It's a brilliant interception. Lentz. Chania Erkin. And that's it. Besiktas win it by the odd goal. Almost nothing in it. Perhaps a draw would have felt fairer. But that's the game, and they have won it at the margin. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, it was engaging, if not an edge-of-your-seat encounter. And importantly, it offered the right result. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening.
So a warm welcome to you all. We will be underway very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and it's a pleasure to be alongside Jim Begley. Thanks, Peter. Hello, everybody. Uh, ready to see what unfolds in this one now. the lineups we've just been given. making the difference here I've got to go for the powerful Bafatimbi Gomis uh, he may not be an example of technical perfection but his robust style helps him to get the job done by by sheer force at times and he'll plow through most offenses well, quite no argument for me on that one now the counter he's left his man and it's Nagatomo who's he gonna play in Solchuk Inan Belanda. Gets up to head it! Marvellous goal! And some of the best managers I played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does look at it. And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked a scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Galatasaray have an early lead. Good start. Gundogan. He's coming on the right now. What's on? Danilo with a long pass. Fakuli. Mondi. Yaya Toure. De Bruyne. Looks to slip it through. A chance to play it in. Gets the chance to cross. But that is good defending. It's been repelled. The clearance and very necessary. It's ruffled a few feathers, but well dealt with. Well positioned to make that interception. Another Silva. Ottoman. As they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. Gomis. Belanda. Well, this man's contribution is, as you would expect, proving terrific. Having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Mondi. And it's De Bruyne. De Bruyne clips one through. And that has been clubbed away. That's neat. And it's ben and Bernardo Silva! Wonderful from Bernardo Silva! 
Well, that's something that will make the manager proud because they dug in deep then and they've got their leveller. A truly wonderful strike, decorated with dip and curl. You know, what was notable in that, Peter, was the fact that he didn't try to blast it, he chose placement instead and delivered a peach. That has added a whole new complexion to the game. Look, get your seatbelts on because this is showing all the signs of another roller coaster ride. Faguli. And it's Mariano. Now it's Faguli. Can he finish? Goal! Galatasaray! Unbelievable. And again they hit the front. Perfect timing, perfect connection, and a perfect outcome. Gomis really has pulled off a difficult skill which needed expert timing. That was expert timing. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Galatasaray go into the lead. Fernandinho. So midway through the first half, and it is a tight old tie. And he's made certain that won't get through. Mariano. Mariano. The Guli is desperately calling for it out wide. Yaya Toure. De Bruyne tries to get it forward quickly. Now it's for Guli. Gundogan. Mondi. De Bruyne, Mondi, Company, De Bruyne, Bernardino passes it through. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Towering header! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. I have to commend the wing plate, but I have to condemn the defending. They've got to stop the cross. stung the palms of the keeper. De Bruyne. Danilo. Otamendi. Belanda. Now it's Gomis. Tries a through ball. Belanda. Turns and goes back. Aimed long and direct. For Gouli. 
Aguero. Yaya Toure. Forward it goes. And it's De Bruyne. Fernandinho. Kumbuan. Shoots! It just took too long getting forward. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back. They were just too slow. Hoisted clear. And he's there to cut it out. A real chance to break. And he's searching through. Torre plays it out to the wing. Aguero. Bernardo Silva. Gomis, ready with two goals under his belt. Fakuli, reaching half time and still behind. Can they make something happen now? Cuts it out. Torre plays it forward. Now it's De Bruyne. Now the pass. Aguero. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Gomis looks to slip it through. Looks like a good massive leap. Went with his head but couldn't steer it in. Danilo. Fernandinho. Company. Yaya Toure. Mondi. De Bruyne. It'll be a throw in. Aimed long and direct. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. So a really good half of football. Three goals and just one separating them. Well, we've had plenty to go at in that first half, Peter, and it's a, a fragile lead that could quite easily change hands in the, in the second. Uh, if you like your football unpredictable, I think you're at the right match. And the second half gets on the way. Manchester City need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. What an adventurous run from a defender. And he's there to hoof it away. And it's Mariano. Belanda passes it. He's gone for it! Fernandinho. De Bruyne. Gundogan, Danilo, Aguero, and now they can launch a counter. Nagatomo, that'll be a throw. Selchuk Inan. And it's Gomis. He wasn't very far from making something happen by himself. Lovely to see. Yaya Toure. Mondi. De Bruyne. 
Tries to think it. Great leap! Decent attempt, but not quite good enough. Solchuk Inan. And it's Gomis. Gomis with the ball through. Gundogan. Well, they are still trailing. Change of fortune, pretty sharpish. Fernandinho. Solchuk Inan. Gomis. Fernandinho battles to win it back. Belanda tried to play it through. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Bernardo Silva. And it's normally around now that the managers think about making changes. Up to meet it! No, he didn't quite meet it right. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. Bernardo Silva. Tries a through ball. Aguero. Aguero with the cross. That's what has to be done now. No question about it. Jim, there's not too much subtlety or sophistication about this. It really is a question of needs must. Spot on, Peter. Fernandinho, and it's Aguero. Aguero! Good stop, that wasn't easy. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. Nagatomo. Nagatomo. Looks to dink one in. That is a big chance! Looking back on that, it was some save and potentially a big moment for the keeper and his team. I have to say, that was an exemplary tackle. Stopped him dead in his tracks. Solchuk Inan spreads it wide. Now here's the through ball. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. De Bruyne. Yaya Toure. De Bruyne. Fernandinho. Truthfully, it was hard to see any better outcome there. Belanda. And it's Nagatomo. He goes long. Lovely feet. Out to the left it goes. Gomez has a goal! This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. He'll get the better of his opposite number. Strength, too strong for his opponent. Now the pass. Galatasaray are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. De Bruyne. Aguero. Manchester City are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. It's come loose. Galatasaray look as though they're about to make a change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. De Bruyne. 
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And it's Belanda. Loose ball, who's going to get there? Goes long. Galatasaray probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. Fakuli passes it through. Now it's Kobis. Lovely bit of skill. Time to deliver. Galatasaray can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Moments left, barely that to avoid a shock defeat now. Out towards the flank. Beautifully done. And it's Fernandinho. Aguero spreads it towards the left. Now the ball's come loose and the chase is on. De Bruyne crosses it in. And he just whacks it away. And that is that. Well, that does not help. Interpret the performance as you will. But the key truth is that they lost. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Manchester City didn't quite recover from the early blow, Peter, after which they just got stuck in chase mode. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.
So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. The teams then by a Leverkusen against Monaco. I'm Peter Drury and providing analysis and expert opinion alongside me will be Jim Beckett. Well, I can tell you I'm truly delighted to join you, Peter, and, and thank you very much for that. Bayer Leverkusen shape up in a 4-4-2. Well, it's a setup that places greater emphasis on the supply route coming from a wide. The whistle. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Um, Steven Jovetic. I think he could be the key in this game. Uh, leading the front line is, is not really suited to him, but the freedom to play from a slightly deeper position or from out. Can he finish? Keita. By a Leverkusen, are the form side of the moment. Five wins on the bounce. Looks like a good ball through. Dinks one in. And a header! He's done very well to get to that. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeping. It's come loose. Forward it goes. Now it's Kiesling. And it's Folland. Kiesling. Bellarab. So what now? Ball's loose, who's getting there? A real chance to break. And the weighted pass. He's pinged one through here. He certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Xiao Moutinho! Oh, well done for him to take the shot on, he did at least hit the target. Out to the wing, so nearly the perfect ball. Lamar. Xiao Moutinho plays a clever pass. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's fallen. By a Leverkusen looking really energetic early on. It is a high press. It's Kiesling! Good clearance now. Can they make something of it? So who's he picking out? And that's been levered clear. Keita. Raggy, looking to hit the front line. Tries to get it forward quickly. Bellarabi tries a through ball. Knocks it away. The flags up. Long and high towards the flank.
Last bender. Maybe goalless, but it is not without interest. Yeah, and it's been like a, a breath of fresh air to their attack. I think that switching of flanks has, has finally created a new and, and, for me, much more dangerous dimension. Fabinho. Lamar. Jovetic. And it's Jovetic. Jovetic! That's a half-decent try. Long and direct. It's fallen. It just wouldn't be beaten there. Michel Moutinho with the ball through. Good defending. He knew he had to stop it right there. Keesley. Work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Looks to slip it through. Aimed in towards the centre. Xiao Moutinho. Steered out wide. Lamar. He's got away. Shoots! Saved only by poor finishing. Yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Now the pass, passes it through, and it's the goalkeeper's to claim. goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class weight. Danger averted for now. Bellarabi plays it out to the wing. By a Leverkusen, try it again now. Ball and shoots! Trying to get there, turns and goes back, looks to clip it forward. And it's been taken straight back. It's Kiesling! Oh, great save, real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. It so nearly came off for him, but that's the motivation and enthusiasm he shows and the quality he produces. Spreads it wide. That looks a good ball. It's a brilliant interception. Bender goes looking. Looks to slip it through. Let's fall it. Whipped in. And the keeper's in command. Lamar. Tries to dink it in. Keita is demanding it out wide. 
Well read, he sorted that out. Last bender. It's fallen. It's a loose ball. Oh, it's fallen. That's a hit! And he's there to hoof it away. Half-time whistle goes, so both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So we reach the halfway point. Bayer Leverkusen ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. No goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. So we're already into the second period. Bayer Leverkusen playing well with lots of opportunities and plenty of positives to take from the first half. Despite this scoreline, converting chances would make a world of difference for them. Over to the left. Now here's the through ball. Keeps everyone guessing. Gets wrestled off the ball. It's fallen. Kiesling. It's fallen. This could fall anywhere. Now it's Kiesling hits it. Get that clear. Now the pass. Aimed wide, and he'd have done well to reach that. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Last bender. Kiesling. Holland. Kiesling. Looks like a good ball through. Fallen goes for goal! Good stop, that wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. on the seat of his pants. Goalkeeper's ball. Keita with the ball through. Now it's Keita. And it's Keita. Falcao. And he's cut it out. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. <laughs> Tries to get it forward quickly. Raggy. Still waiting for a goal to report here. Chance to break. Out wide to the right. Folland. In towards the middle. Right. Fabinho. 
Falcao. Fabinho pushes it out wide. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Well, he now knows that he has to lock in the timing. Success and failure depends on it. Fabinho comes sliding in. One shell pass, that's the message there. Kiesling. And now the breakaway. Kiesling goes looking. That's just an example of overcommitting, and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention. It was vital. Fabinho plays it into the channel. By Leverkusen, still contemplating when to use their last remaining substitute. Tries a through ball. He's had a shot! And the ball's come out! <laughs> last bender. to slip it through. Bayer Leverkusen are enjoying lots of possession, but they just can't find any penetration. Last bender. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Falcao looks to thread it through, cuts it out. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. Last bender. Tar. Played out to the wing. He's left his man. Great leap! What about it? And that could well be the winner! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. By a Leverkusen, take the lead. Oh, it was a long time coming, but I think it's fully merited. They've applied themselves extremely well. That's sprayed out wide. Hoists it high, gets into some space, puts in a cross, cut out in the nick of time. This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Tries to get it forward quickly. Now the pass. Oh, well defended, that had to be done. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? Keita goes Keep up calm and over. And carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Forward it goes. Aim long and direct. Goal kick. Last bender. Points by no means guaranteed just yet. 
Long and high towards the flank. Bayer Leverkusen probably could have killed things off, but they should be OK here. No, no way through there. Bender. By a Leverkusen, need to hold on for a few more moments. And the weighted pass. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Out to the left it goes. Hits one! Coaxed out to the wing. Michel Moutinho. And that will be the final act. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is complete round of applause to our players. Good luck, love.